Jarch and I were both just in really grumpy <laughs> moods. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we just did a dance to make ourselves less grumpy. We just had to do a little dance just to shake out the grumpiness of... I actually feel bitter. I was like fired up. Like there was like ruthless LDD. Yeah, I haven't seen you that cranky there. It was just frustrating. Something we had to do, and I was just like, "Just make it clearer for us." Yeah, Sorry. and then Lulu was cranky. And I'm trying to get her out of the funk. I'm going, "Duck, it's all just, good." Like, it's fine. Like being annoying, trying to make a laugh, and then I get a text message through that immediately infuriated so me. So then we're both grumpy. Then we're both grumpy. So we just had to get up, do a grumpy dance, a cranky dance, a crance, crank, crank, and it actually helps. You can't actually be angry no. when you're dancing. I feel a million times better. I nearly, like, honestly got, like, a machete. No. Yeah, you were, yeah. Well, me was pretty shitty as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, no laughter this early in the sorry, podcast. But when I saw you putting your hand like this and hip thrusting as you were dancing, you can't, no one can be cranky. You can't be grumpy at that, can you? No, you can't be. Um, speaking of machetes. Yeah. So next week I move into my place on my own. Yeah. I mean, thinking what weapon I should get for under my bed. If you, need you a reckon? weapon, if you need a weapon under your bed, you want me to just sleep under your bed? <laughs> do you want me or Dior just to take turns sleeping? Under, if you need a couple of weapons under your bed, I'd say I'd probably be more likely to take the intruders than you two combined. Cute. I would. You reckon? You seen these guns? I have. Sister. I have sister. Sister friend. I have. And two tickets more- to the gun show. Mwah. Mwah. The spud gun uh, show. Uh, yeah. Uh, feel that. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, what sort of weapon? Okay. I've got a I've got a couple. I've got a huge a big pig hunting knife. I'd big like bowie that. knife. Would that fit in my bedside table? You know, jury's out. It's fucking huge. Mm. I've also got a Fijian war axe. Okay. What about a taser? Are those legal? Don't think they're legal, but you could definitely get one. Well, I don't want something that's illegal because then if an intruder came in and then I had to do something, then I'm done for manslaughter. Yeah, I've always thought about that. Like, Well, I'm not going to do anything really. No. Have you seen – oh, actually, I want to say this, but then it ruins the episode series for you. And What's the everyone. series? Hijack. Remember we're, di- we're dying spoiler series. <laughs> right. For- well, I said to Josh, I was like, have you seen Hijack? And he's like, nah. And I was like, are you going to watch it? I'm going to tell you about it. You, dude, you just kept telling me. Yeah, you were like a serious, you were drooling at the fucking mouth. You're foaming at the mouth. And she goes, can I, um, like, almost annoyed at me. You're almost annoyed. You're like, like, are you going to watch it or can I just tell you? Mm. And I'm like, no, I'm probably going to watch it. It's like when I finish a book, I'm like, I just want to tell everyone. Like, but there's this when you watch it, and everyone who's seen it will know what I mean. There's something on there that's actually fake. And I'm like, maybe I could get like a fake something. See, so shut the fuck up. Well, that hasn't given it away. But now, if I watch spoiler, spoiler, when I watch I the didn't show, didn't give anything away, but I gave, I alluded to something. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's what's online every day. Don't try. And it's like with clickbait headlines. It gives away this minuscule bit. But now I'm going to watch the show and be like, well, is that bomb fake then? That's the thing she was talking about that was fake. How do you know? Just because the name's Hijack doesn't mean it's got anything to do with that. Oh, I just thought it was a a, a compilation of people saying g'day to me every morning. It is. Oh. It's been made into a series on Apple. And how's it it travelling? Is it doing well? Well, I wanted to tell tell you about it. It was phenomenal. Maybe season two will be by Jack. It's just (laughs) people saying goodbye. Mm. Very clever. And then season three, it goes international and it's ciao, Jack. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I thought um, even just a, a baseball bat. But the problem with a baseball bat is I've just got to swing it around. You know, I want something that like get a cricket bat. I'm safe this from is Australia. far away, huh? Safe from far away. Okay, let's have a think here. You could get an air rifle. I'm not using a gun. You know, we we actually, my mate, when we were living bloody all together, there was about five of us. All bushies living in this place in Vaucluse, right? And our neighbours either loved us or, or, or hated us. It was party years. It was party time. So mm. we're always fucking loud and doing silly shit. Like my mate got it for, for his birthday. He got this um, this fish fucking stunner with, made out of gidgey wood. And like we just set bottles up like this fucking club essentially made out of this gidgey wood, real strong wood. And we just smash bottles off our balcony, glass shattering onto the pe- the people down below. Like, just, just stupid rude. shit. Just stupid. And my mate got a fucking 
he found an air rifle in a skip bin and we we're like oh beauty let's fucking get this and so we used to peel vb tins roll them up into pellets and shoot each other with these pellets and it literally would fucking like split your skin mm. and bruise you and shit we're doing that so much fun like Not so fun. much fun to the point where one of my mates and i'm gonna name him ed liston took it off us like a cranky parent yeah fair enough and and um pulled it apart and threw it away fair enough you're living in full clues one of the most expensive suburbs and you're doing stupid shit like that there was five of us in this house it was like a mansion that was derelict and we were paying 200 bucks a week each yeah yeah it was f it was just one of those times it's where it was living. unbeatable we we're in the nicest I had some areas great share homes as well do you care to a oh <laughs> <laughs> like um, we had we had um this house that we lived in with like seven girls and it was called Warby, and we'd literally just on a Friday be like party at Warby and within two hours there'd be two hundred people in our lounge. It was crook. It's fucking like and there was like seven or eight rooms, so people would just be off in like little like areas of the house. It was so big, mate. It was like six lounges. Did you get to a point where you were just like, because you know when you wake up and you're like. Oh. I wish I, we weren't the party house. It's stuck. Because we were the kick on house and shit. And it was just like, it gets to a point where you just, I'm fucking over this. I remember one time we cleaned the entire house, like top to bottom. It was so grubby from like 300 people over. And then we got a KFC feast and all sat on the floor and we were just like honing chicken. Nothing better. Nothing fucking better. How did we get to this? Air, go, air rifle. So get a look at air rifle. I'm not getting if, something. If you hit someone in the eye with it, you'll fuck them up, but I guess you're not a good shot. Maybe, um. I just think perhaps just a knife. Just a sharp Japanese knife by my bedside table. Yeah. That's good enough. Because it's, I'm not going to do anything with it. It's more just get out of my house. Well, then you're better to have a replica gun. Mm. Like a handgun. What the fuck, mate? This is the wrong fucking house, bud. Yeah. Back off. Get out of here. Hey, I see you with your balaclava. Take two steps backwards or this goes straight through your chest. Yeah, that's intimidating. That'd make me back right off. But anyone holding a gun would be intimidating. You know what? Funnily enough, you might be the exception to the rule. Because <laughs> you'd be holding it, it'd be like pointing out there and you're like, hey, you back out of here. Excuse me, mister. You leave it, or this will be hitting your chest in a matter of seconds. These bullets are quick in here. I've got them a nine millimetres with extra hollow points in them. And they're ballistic tip as well. These are all ballistic tip. Nah, I think I'm just going kitchen knife. Go kitchen knife. Isn't Steph sleep with a kitchen knife? Every time I'm out of the house, I'm away. She... I'm like, you're in the safest fucking suburb on the second level of an apartment block. Y you're going to be okay. I've got home and, like, I sleep with my hands under the pillow a lot of the time. Like, fucking like that. Head on the pillow, hands under the pillow on my stomach. And I've gone like this and I'm like, fucking hell. And I lift up the pillow. There's a fucking butcher's knife or a huge steak knife under the... I'm like, Steph. She's like, what? You, you were away. I was scared. I'm like... We'll fucking have it under your pillow. <laughs> she just keeps it under yours. <laughs> Mate, and it doesn't just, move it. We should have your hand just went... Exactly right. Into it. That's Well, it has. E. Yeah. Ouchies. Yeah, it's just... It's it's silly. But, yeah, I think just a knife. Keep a simple knife. Yeah. You excited about living by yourself? I'm so excited. I can't wait for Lulu time. I've gone to town on the furniture. If you got some nice stuff. What are we talking? Got some really nice stuff. Got Didn't you get a flash TV? This cool TV that has, um, it's on the wall, but it looks like a picture frame if the TV's not on. So I, I could put like Kevin on there or like you and me or like a photo of, I don't know, Sardegna. Sardegna. <laughs> yeah, get the beaches of Sardegna mm. in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could even put like, you know how they have that, like, moving Van Gogh art? Yep. You know, or, like, some Salvador Dali? Yep. The Surrealist? The Surrealist, you know, is Dali? Salvador Dali? Most famous Surrealist painter? No. The Melting Clocks? No. You could just do cool shit like that. Is yeah. it? Is that the purpose of it? It's like an artwork yeah, until like you watch telly? Yeah, like, you literally walk in and go, oh, that's a fancy piece of art. Look, that's very cool. Fancy, aren't you? Aren't you? And then I go, bam, and there's... Real Housewives of Kentucky. Yeah. Monsters, Inc. 
Monsters Inc. Look at another yeah. guy too. And I got some cool, some cool rugs, some cool, some cool coffee table books, a nice coffee table, a little side table, a nice couch. Okay, it's gonna be Lulu's Haven. I'll never leave. I'll probably do the podcast from there. Yeah, I was doing the thing where I was like, just avoid offering help there for a while. Yeah, but you have to help me. I've got lots of kit sets that need to be set up next Wednesday. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely help you. But you know, owning a Ute in the city, right? So I had the same Ute for 11 years. Yeah, but you own a to- Toyota Tiguan now. VW. Would you VW. Would you allow me to um, like get I my I know po- where this is get going, my point though. Out. Everyone asks you to help out. Mate, I'm your bloody co-host. Get off your lazy ass and help. <laughs> I had shit removalists. I won't name and shame, but they were dreadful. I lifted more than they did. So when I had a Ute, everyone would ask. Can you help? And they me. just would assume. They would just assume. They would that assume. You would have helped. Right? So the benefit of now not having a you, the, one is of the it? only benefits, by the way, because fuck me, I miss it, is that people don't ask. Ask you to move. Move. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> is that <what laughs> No, I'm happy. To, I'm obviously I'm happy, happy to, to help. I'm happy to help I'm you. I'm happy to help you. <clears throat> don't growl at me. <clears throat> but I'm happy to help you. <clears throat> don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, yeah, you know, moving is such a prick mm. of a job, mate. Honestly, the worst thing, if I could just click my fingers, if I if a genie came to me and said, you've got three wishes this year, one of them would be that my whole entire house is moved and set up. 100%. It's the worst job. And unpacking. I just, yeah. Like, can I hire someone to just like unpack everything? Yeah. And put in, what? Fucking, um, what's that site called? The or- Air Tasker. Oh, yeah, but. Get some Spanish dude to come over and do it. You know, all those, all the Spaniards are over here now. They're all the lollipop signs. Hold all the, it's all Spanish women and dudes. I might look into that. Dude, do you know what I've realised? There's a full difference. So they have, they've trained these Europeans, right, to be the lollipop people, the stop-go mm-hmm. signs, right? But they haven't trained them in the art of how to operate. There's a difference between lollipop people in the bush and in, this, in the big smoke because... In the bush, lollipop person sitting there. Once it's go slow, go past, like that, and they go. The little there's a nod, nod there's a wave, the there's a finger wave or a nod, and you get it back. You're like, cheers, mate, good work. Every time I've finger waved or nodded at a lollipop person in for big smoke, they don't know what I'm doing. They think I'm weird. They give me these It's looks. like a universal like job sign that they haven't been trained. It like, needs to be on your job description. That needs to be in the description as they're mm. training. They go, people. Now, not all people, but some but are going to give you a finger wave. Now, you, as a lollipop person, have to either but lift the finger off the sign or nod back. Yeah, but it's sort of the same as like that, the unspoken road rules you know like you meant to do that but not everyone does it yeah i know that's the it's the it's the detriment of to the detriment of society that's when the society crumbles i feel you know i feel like that's just slightly dramatic look it may be honestly it may be slightly dramatic but that's what i feel when the little yeah. things start going a society tends to <laughs> implode yeah you know i just saw tummy what's happened buddy well i had too much um sugar-free lollies and they, they hurt. They're not good for your tum. At what time this morning? It was last night. Well, how are your tummy hurt now? I don't know. I assume it's from that. You know what is wild? I did punch you how? in the guts three times before we started. Probably that. Yeah. You know what's mind-boggling is how... Most things for you. Yeah, but how did they create Correct. sugar-free things? Like, you know, like you get a slushy and it's sugar-free. You're like, you get a lolly and it's sugar-free and it just tastes Artificial sugary. Sweet, no, yeah, but like, how'd they create that but with no sugar in it? Well, there's shit. You can create shit artificially that's sweet, right? But it's isn't that sugar just in. wild? Isn't that crazy? <sighs> nah. Yeah, it is. It tastes the exact same. Nah. The sugar-free Coca-Cola. You think Diet Coke and normal Coke taste the same? Pretty sim. Mala. <laughs> I think it is. Like oh, I, had these, I, I had these, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they were some sugar-free lollies, and I thought, by God, if someone put these... By God. <laughs> by golly, gingle. I thought, if someone put these in front of me with a blindfold on, 
I wouldn't be able to tell the difference which one was your sugar one and which one was the sugar free. Yes, yeah, because you're going like this on the table with a blindfold <laughs> and eating them all at once. Just take one and eat it. One, <laughs> if you're one by one, I'm Lou, people can tell. But unfortunately, no, but that's not how you operate. I reckon if I put a blindfold on you and put them in front of you, you wouldn't be able to tell the diff. Not a chance. Oh, I reckon I would be able nah. to. No way, senior. Should we do it? Yep. I reckon I'd be. Look, I, you know what? I'm eighty percent certain I could. If you had a sugar-free lolly, like a natural confectionery, right? They are they? No, they're no artificial love colors. Them. I reckon I could. I love them. Like mm. I love the dinosaurs. They're fucking lit. Like they're phenomenal. They got to be the best lollies out there. Starburst were, and now they're fucking discontinued in Australia. Mm. Real hurtful stuff. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, there. who's going to the supermarket and getting a party max? To be fair, I would, but like, mm. wouldn't be my first choice. I do do that. So you're like going there, actively searching for bananas and milk bottles. I like bananas. I'll, 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 I'll. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you also like those little lollies in the party mixes, if you know what I mean. So it's good stuff. I'm happy with it. You happy with it? I'm happy with it. Mummy's happy with it. It'll get a pass. Your mummy, by the way. Hey, Daddy, you happy with it? Yeah. Your Daddy, by the way. <laughs> but Haribo's are the best. They are fucking lit, bro. I just got a, a, a bloody um a, t- a bucket of those Harib- Haribos. The little gummy bears. Get the gummies and shit. The fried eggs. The fried eggs aren't my favourite. Well, I prefer the gummies. Fried eggs are not on the party mix. No, no, no. We're talking Haribo. Haribo. Oh, Haribo. Sorry, that's the best, not natural yes. confection. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. glad you said that. I might yeah. have to put that in the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in the podcast. Haribo is the fucking Haribo's shit. Haribo is definitely the best. Red light, green light. You want to go first? I'll go, I'll go first. Okay. Red light, green light. <clears throat> the way Americans say caramel. How do they say it? Caramel. As in caramel like you'd have for flavouring? Yeah, like caramel, if you want a caramel, like you, caramello koala. They'd be like, caramel glow koala. They're like, um, hey, uh, can I have my Starbucks, um, my Starbucks vanilla latte with a shot of caramel? No, they don't. Fucking oath they do. Mate, they do. Can I, my, uh, I actually love chocolate with caramel in the middle. But I, they're I not even ch- accentuating the word as caramel. Caramel. Well, green. Green? It's their, it's their accent. They could say caramel. Yeah, it was a caramel. I want caramel in my, uh, in my, my like latte. How you say broccoli. But caramel is different, but that's different. They're missing letters. Green? Red. It doesn't affect me or them at all or anyone. No, fuck them. They diss us by the way that we say no and go and all that sort of shit. They fuck them in their caramel. Learn to say caramel, you yank dogs. Love yous. Love the lot of you. But learn to say caramel. It feels angry and aggressive for no reason. Dior? Yeah, no, I'm with you, Josh. Fuck yeah. Caramel. Caramel. They're like, just okay. a whole letter. And it's like a so vowel. What, That's an important letter. What about a bird named Carmel who wants some caramel? So if Carmel wants some caramel, do you want the female, Carmel, or do you want caramel? But like, when has this ever affected your life? Who cares? It's an observation. Yeah, it just, I've never observed it. Observed it. Hey, Fe- pep up. Feels like a stretch in content. Dude, you feel like it's a stretching. This is a, literally a conversation that they have. They have it within America. I've never heard it. Yeah, but you're not well read. What? You know nothing. You need to take a step back for a moment. You need to breathe. I think Daddy's a little bit angry. I'm Daddy, by the way. Yeah. Just, have a, just take take three deep breaths, please. <sighs> now, how do you feel? Pissed off. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Caramel. Watching a TV series with someone when you said what? Watching a TV series without someone when you said you'd wait. We've done this. It's absolute fucking hot shit. It's hot cock. Green. 
You, you're I did a, it the other day. You are a, you are the prime example of someone <laughs> to do this. Steph and I never watch anything together. We have zero similar interests in terms of media. We have zero similar <laughs> interests. We like nothing the same. Honestly, it's been a point of contention in our relationship. We don't. All right? She's into French shit. I'm into fucking Marvel. You mm. know? And Westerns. She doesn't like either. We finally find a show. It was like Ted Lasso or something. Where we're like, this is lit. We both love it. Beautiful. Let's make this our thing. Let's do this together. Come back home. I get the fucking Apple or whatever. It's my account, obviously. She's got zero accounts. All on me. I'm like, did we get up to episode six? Oh, old Ted. Oopsie daisy. Sorry. First, second night in. The second night. She said couldn't help it. Watched it all herself. That's what happened to me. Yeah. Y- y- with Hijack. I was like, I've got to watch the last episode on my own. Who were you watching it with? Franco and Jill. In New Zealand. We watch it over Zoom. <laughs> it's a good time. She's quick. And so they She's te- quick on her They text me, Jill and Franco, <laughs> and they said, what the hell have you done? I can see <laughs> you're on my Apple account and you've watched the last episode of Hijack without me. And I, I, my finger slipped. It's betrayal. My finger slipped and it just went, no, nah, but then the best part is I like try to justify it. And I'm like, yeah, but... You're going to watch it on your own, like, when you get home anyway. So, like, it's sweet. You're still going to watch it. You know what you are? You know what you are? You're a gaslighter. No, I'm just evil. No, that's gaslighting. I'm just evil. <laughs> I'm just pure evil, Joe. No, no, you're not. You're a sweetheart, but you gaslight. That was a bit gaslighting. It was just hyper gaslighting. I couldn't help it. I was like, I'm not fucking waiting. I need to watch it the second. Immediately. In my bed. It's 7.30. Kevin's waiting. I'm ready. Bam. Go. My finger slipped. Oh, it started. I can't stop it now. Oh, shit. <laughs> you had sleep paralysis. So you actually couldn't move. If I you couldn't move to. my arm. It's just going. All yeah. I can move is my eyes watching it. <laughs> and you, your other arm just to hold Kevin. Just in case he falls off the bed. You make me sad sometimes in my brain. But I knew you'd be fucking, you're such a watcher without. You're oh, such yeah. a without watcher. But to me, I'm like, it's not a big deal. Well, then don't agree Get to it. Get over it. Don't agree to it then. No, no, no. Don't <laughs> gaslight. I'm not gaslighting. I'm just saying it's a TV show. Get over it. Yeah, but guess what? I know what you're going to say. If it fucking, if the shoe was on the other foot, guess who'd have a little fucking tanty? Guess who'd be saying? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. Louise would go. Big dog but LVD. You, but you p- p- promised me we'd w- 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 watch it to whoever. And then he'd be like, oh, it's just a TV show, Lou. And you're like, don't gaslight me, you fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> As if you, I would ever say, poor woman. What? Excuse me? You sweep with w- 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 Quevlin. So, yeah. I don't you don't speak like. You go, that. you p- 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 promise we w- 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 watch it to Quevlin. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how you'd say it. And then when you go, man, it's just a telly show, man. Chill out. You're like, you fucking gaslighting piece of shit. And you'd be on the phone, you'd be texting Tor. I can't believe these fucking gaslighting pieces of fucking shit. He said we'd watch it together. And he fucking watched the last fucking episode without me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you bang on. <laughs> you bang on. <laughs> Literally straight to tour. Oh my fucking God, you'll never believe what just happened. Yeah. And then when it's you, it's like, fucking get over it, champion. It's fucking just a TV show. My fucking move on, pussy. Fucking pussy. <laughs> hey, champion, what's the episode on your own? Yeah, yeah. Why do you need me there to hold your hand? Yeah, what do you fucking grow up, man? Fucking pussy, man. 2023, grow up. <laughs> Red light, green light. Washing the bread knife. As in, the, so you get like a nice loaf from Sonoma and you cut up with the, the, the sword edge and then you just leave it there for the next bread loaf. No, you just put it back in. Oh, back in the drawer. Back in the knife holder. I'm weirdly going to go green it's here. It's green. It's if dry. You, if you bother washing the bread knife, what the fuck has it done? Maybe some yeast. Nah, there's nothing on it. I'm going green with you. If, you, if you've buttered it. Oh, it. Lulu, if you've buttered it. Yeah, if you've buttered your knife. But why would you butter it if you're just cutting bread, you know what I mean? If you mm. just slice some bread, then it's like, fuck it. I literally go like this. 
back in. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you on that one. I would never wash a bread knife. Also, you got to be careful with. You got to wash it every now and then. Well, yes. occasionally, but occasionally. I mean, it might find itself. But that's all, Steph. If it was up to me, it wouldn't get washed. You can't put it through the dishwasher a nice bread knife. Steph does. No, it's not good to put knives through that. the dishwasher. Yeah, correct. Nor crystal clouds the crystal. When am I putting my crystals through the wash? Well, crystallized glass. Oh, glass, like fancy glass. Yeah. I thought you were meaning like a like a crystal dolphin. Sometimes you get nice like whiskey glasses. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't put them I've through the wash. I've got these nice the physique them. ones, and I wouldn't wash those. I'd hand wash. Yeah, I had to teach Steph that. Mm. Same with a knife. You tell her that. Were you going to say something before? I'm always going to say things, Jack. That is factually accurate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nah. If you're out there washing your bread knife, you're a fucking weirdo. Mm. Agree. Love that. Which is, yeah, bizarre for me. Uh, red light, green light. Doing your own stretches at the end of a gym class. So, like, the trainer's taking you through the stretches, and they're like, all right, downward dog, but you're standing up, you know, stretching your arm. Pull it to the left. Do you know? Do you know? Let me let me answer this the best I can. It's a red. I'll do the stretches that the trainer's doing, but when I see someone up there, this lone soldier, this lone survivor doing his own or her own stretches, it's mad respect from me. Oh, I'm that lone soldier. I, yeah, if I've like got a, 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 like a certain you know like an arm that's a bit sore, I'll get up and. Everyone's in downward dog and I'll In be stretching my pure defiance of the fucking instructor. Yeah. I well, I might have a sore, you know, like <laughs> calf or something. Well, you applaud me. Take Sorry. Shake my hand like a man. Okay. Ow! What? I'm squeeze it so hard. I didn't even know. Big dog, big dog, <laughs> I, I would look at you like this, like with pure... Em- I'd be doing the downward dog or something and I'd see you like, just like smoking a durry, fucking stretching your, <laughs> stretching your calves. It's like no, I'm texting on your it- phone. I'd be like, you ballsy motherfucker. I do it in a way that's not like, I don't want to be rude to the instructor. It is. sat through their entire class. But if I've got a sore, you know, back of my thigh or like hamstring or something, I've got to stretch that bad boy. I respect and it. And there's a certain way i got to do it. Yep. You know? I respect it, so mate. I, I, I'll, I'll jump back into the stretch, but I'll, I will do my own every now and then. Yeah, I respect that. But I don't want to be seen as rude, so I try to make it at le- as least, um, what's the word, like invasive to the class. Yeah, but you'd, you, it's in pure defiance of the coach, and you, you're essentially spitting in their face. Okay, now I because they've like done the workout and they know the stretches you need to do mm. in order to. Uh, so I'm watching TV series without other people. I'm doing my own. You live stretches. By, you're living by yourself. Mm-hmm. You're a bit of a lone wolf. Yeah. L W D D. Yeah. The big L W D D. I like it. The big lone wolf Dalton. I like it. Oh no. Oh. You're a lone wolf, mate. Oh. I'm, I'm a I'm a bit of a oh, You're a, a lone wolf. I'm a no, I'm a mix. I'm a pack animal and a, and a bit and Oh, I'm a, definitely a mix. I'm not just out there on my own. You're stretching by yourself, kid. You're a lone wolf. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. Red light, green light. Touching someone's face when you kiss them. So like, like, you know what I mean? I feel like you just use one hand. Yeah, but either way. Yeah, green. Red. So you just stand there like this. I stand there. I stand there. When I kiss someone, let me. This is how I've got so many birds in my life. I stand there with my arms by my side. I have my eyes dead. I do not blink. They are open like this. I turn my head to the left. Or the, actually, I turn my head to the left every time. They need to accommodate where I'm going, and then I just go this. And I never blink. Just hands by my side. That's how I kiss. It's the sexiest way to do it. Is that how you got stiff? (laughs) Correct. No, no, you grab with one hand. I don't like people touching my face. It's because you don't have a chin. You're self-conscious. No, it's not. It is. No, let me look. Trust me, and you're self-conscious. Your subconscious is telling you you don't like people touching your face because you don't like people touching your face, but it's because you don't have a chin. Incorrect. Correct. It's because I had severe acne growing up. And so skin was oily as fuck, severe acne, and I was self-conscious of it. So I hate people touching my face. Hate it. I'm a bit better in my old age, but any time someone would touch kiss, my face. How do you kiss then? Just fucking hands on hips. What if you're sitting down? And somewhere else. Where? 
tits. <laughs> You're just kissing like this every yeah, like time. Like a teenager in a movie. <laughs> Possibly the unsexiest way. Uh, that really wigs me out. Nah, hands, like I'd sort of maybe allow it in this day and age, but I wouldn't like it. I don't like people touching my face. Do, like, if, if I'd just be like this. Well, I don't even think about it. How? Do you all come here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. But I wouldn't have my hands on your face and I wouldn't like it if someone had their hands on my face. Weird. Is it? You're an odd unit. But you've never had severe acne, mate. I you've never looked acne. like a fucking pepperoni pizza. Don't give me that. You I have did, flawless skin. I did have acne when I was younger. Run me through it. How bad? I had quite bad around my chin. It was hormonal. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you have it all over your forehead, your cheeks, your chest, no, your back, I'm not your just, cock, I'm your chin? I'm not taking away from what you had. I'm just saying mm. I had acne too. <laughs> I don't. I think you had pimples like any other fucking teenager. You didn't have acne. Hey, kids. stop being so angry today. Well, I fucking was pissed off before, and the dance yeah, has well, worn I off. I got rid of it. Get up and dance. Come on, do a happy dance. Come on, show Lulu. Better work, work it. Come on, yes. Now do the ooh ooh. <laughs> happy, happy, Jack. Yeah, it's better. Okay. It's better. Um, now I'm going to be honest with the bad words here. I usually go through and I delete things from my, um, yep. but I, I've been lazy and I haven't. Um, red light, green light, haunted house tours. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me specify, like someone that thinks it's actually a haunted house or those fun ones. Those fun ones. Fucking green. Yeah, green, but fuck, they terrify me. Dude. I remember going to one and just like shoving my mates out of the way, being like, ah! It's People actually chasing you like with full machetes. And I've got a theory about it. I'm like, we went to one in a place called Aussie World, which is on like the Sunshine Coast in Australia. It's like mm-hmm. a B B level tier fucking fucking theme park. And they had a haunted house, and we all went in there. And I was like, it feels like somewhere where someone would work that would actually want to kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I mean. Know, one day, cruel. one day there'll be a haunted house article that's like uh, uh, actual killer, or something. You know, like an actual killer. You also have to have like a safe word. You, I think it's not stop. I think there's like a word because you know how sometimes they can get quite up in your face. My safe word is don't take it out. My safe word is harder. Leave it in. No. My safe- <laughs> No, Jack. What? They have se- like seriously. It's like it's like corn or something, or like table. There's a safe word every ha- horse house. How to how to do that? house. <laughs> the house. Yeah, those are the safe words for the whole house. <laughs> Leave it in. Um, what do they tell you that? You're being very rogue and rude today. Oh, like the last eighty-five episodes. No, of this it's fucking different podcast. today. No, it's not. It is. How is it? It just. It's aggressive. Mate, I said humans were baked cum. True. This is, uh, we're a bit rogue here. Yeah. Now listen up. Where did you, did they tell you you had a safe word? If in case you were really scared, you could go, yes. table. It was years ago. I would have been like 17. Oh, true. In New Zealand. But what? yeah. Yeah, okay. They're, they're, they're a green, but they're fucking freaky. They're so scary. I remember being in one where there was like this little like, Psycho patient, she was kind of like the grudge sort of thing, I and mean, then she like came out with like some knife. Mate, I was like, eh. and they're like touching. You don't want to be at the back oh, or I'm at the front. Always in the middle. I'm always, yeah. and I'm shoving my mates out of the way. Yeah. Like, get out. Because they fucking like they'll tickle your back and shit. Mm. Oh, girls wouldn't go there on a date with a guy these days. You were the you there on a date? No. Oh, but you get the heck. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> would. You would. Oh my god, Lou. Men aren't <laughs> safe. <laughs> Men aren't safe. <laughs> oh, shit. Men are, yeah, you're I'd right. I get the ick from my husband going there. Mate, if you're a bloke, never go with any bird that you want to pursue or fucking anyone you want to pursue because they will hate you after a haunted house. Bro, I saw this video the other day. It's like, no one is fucking safe in this oh, day and age. Some of them are just ridiculous. This bird's on a fucking holiday with her boyfriend. She's like on, on, on holiday with my first holiday together and she's like, um, and currently getting the ick. I know and this. he's on the top of the water having a great time and she pans the camera down and his feet are going, <laughs> the 
way that he's like keeping himself afloat. And she's like, I am ickified. I saw one and it was like, this girl's like, um, I just went on holiday with um, my boyfriend and a shark started circling us and he was like screaming and she got the ick. Ah, no shit, you'd start screaming. My shark is circling you. Mate. How can you get the ick from that? Like, it's a fucking shark. I'd be like, get out of the water. Get out of the water. And you imagine you get it to safety and she just looks at you like, we're over. I need some space. I need to, yeah, I think I'm just going to get the next flight tomorrow. I'm going to go home. We've still got three weeks here. I know, but. It feels right. Yeah. Yeah. You were a pussy when there was a huge, when there was a 17 metre great white mm. shark circling us. No, you can't, you're not safe. I've got some bloody impressions that I'd like you, for, you, for you to attempt. Mm-hmm. Now, there are some that might be a little bit more nuanced. They're celebrities, right? No. Could you do John from the fucking mechanics down the road? I can. Yeah. They're celebrities. Um, You've got a little something in your belly today that's <laughs> making you very <laughs> angry, I'm Senorita. not. I promise you I'm not. I swear to God. I'll make you do a dance again. I actually feel great after that dance. That dance is not going to wear dance. off. happy dance? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, why I order? So, let's see what you got. Now, there's a few different ones. I just wanted to see. There's it's They're diverse. Okay. We're on the car over here. You were talking about famous rappers. So I'd love you to start with an Ice Cube impression. <sighs> What's up? I'm Ice Cube. Yo, yo. <laughs> it's your voice oh. saying I'm Ice Cube. It kind of sounds yo, like that. <laughs> it was your voice. What's it wasn't up? even I'm an Ice accent. Cube. Yeah, yo. All right. That's a fail. Okay. We'll give you a pass and a foul for these. Let's critique them. Okay. Ice Cube's a foul. What about Mila Kunis? These are so hard, Judge. The fuck do you want from me, woman? These are just difficult. I thought they'd be like girl know. ones. Give me like the Grinch. One o'clock. Oh, I got one okay. self give, give you ones you think you can Two do. Two o'clock. Solve world hunger. I said Mila Kunis. Three o'clock. One o'clock. Self pity. I said Mila Kunis. Pass. Steve Irwin. This feels rude. Why? He's a fucking icon. Okay. Crikey, guys, come on down to the... Hang on, just... Uh, yeah, uh, you Crikey, start. guys, come on down to the Australian Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Give me more. All right, we've got a giant crocodile here. If you come on down... <laughs> To the Australian Zoo. <laughs> so, I'll give you a pass. Yes. It was still very reminiscent of your voice. I love Steve Irwin. I've got a bronze statue of him. He's the best. Kate Blanchett. I think she's English. Is she? She, she speaks posh. She's she Aussie. Speak- she's Aussie, but okay. she speaks posh. Kate Blanchett's all okay. Pass. No, Lou, this isn't pass. But this is have hard a fucking. Judge. They're not like people with. P- pronounced a- accent. Pronounced accent. Sorry, sorry, Dior. They're not people with pronounced accent. Oh, okay, sweet. Oh, next You're very time. Very grumpy today, aren't you? Next time. Aren't you? Next time, I'll get people with pronounced accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll do Jack Edward Archdale. Look, I've got. Oh, you fucking, fucking know what I mean? Like, it's not in my fucking wheelhouse. I'm fucking, and fucking, you know, it's fucking. Fucking, oh, I'm from the bush, yeah. Armadale, a little place near Walker. You heard of it? Yeah, I'm from the bush. So it's like hard for me when I like travel around Sydney because it's like I'm, I'm from the bush. So like, you know, it's like back there, it's like I'll go for a drive and we'll, you know, wave to each other. So you don't get that in the city because I'm from, I'm from Armadale, which is like a little town near Walker. It's like fucking in my wheelhouse. Whiskey. Guess what? Pass. A plus. A plus. That was good stuff. Thanks. Wrecked. Number one, wrecked. Number two, pretty good impression. Mm-hmm. Number three, I'm from Walker that's near Armadale. Now, as one of my best friends, you should know that. So I'm a little hurt by that too. What did I say? Severus Snape. Mr. Potter. Dick. That's Voldemort. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, oh. I am the Harry Potter connoisseur. Someone might need to dance. So You've become crumpy. This is what Snape does. Trust me, this is uh, how his okay. mouth works. Okay. So make a good video, Dior. Ready for this one? 
Mr. Potter, you belong in Slytherin. Back to your room. Now in Hogwarts, <coughs> Mr. <coughs> Potter. <laughs> it's so reminiscent of just no, your voice. that's what he does. Mr. Potter. Oh, hang on. Let me go one more time. <laughs> no. There's a bit of Alfie in him. Mr. Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Better. You belong in Slytherin. The basilisk is out of the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Back to your room, Mr. Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's... <laughs> it's uh, give me I'll give you a pass. Give me Dumbledore. Lou... If you want to play this game, <laughs> right, why don't you just send me who you want me to fucking tell you to do? I'll do that next week. But give me, give Mummy Dumbledore. <laughs> mummy gets what Mummy wants. <laughs> hey, Lou. <laughs> do <it>, Dumbledore. <laughs> Children of Hogwarts, there's a troll in in Hogwarts, Hogwarts is no longer safe. Everybody back to your rooms. Leaders, please take the children to Hogwarts, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. It's just the same voice, isn't it? There's not even accents. My Grinch is very good. Get over it. One o'clock, one on self pity. Two o'clock, self world hunger. Three o'clock. Jordan Peterson. I don't know who that is. Don't you? The guy that tells everyone to make their bed. No. You know? Canadian guy? No. Never seen Jordan Peterson? Is he from a, a bed company? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's like, you've got to bloody make your bed. You Get sound, out there and make your bed. You sound like Elmo. No, he talks like this. Oh, it's bloody. It's crazy. The government, they're compelling speech. Never heard of him. Should I know him? He's a polarizing figure in modern society, yeah. Probably. Okay. Okay, who else can we give her? Don't waste your time, Lou. Okay. Who else can we One give her? One more. Do Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Why, oh, I'm Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. I'm Rocky uh, Balboa. Uh, better. I'm Rocky Balboa. Sylvester Stallone. He doesn't say Rocky. I'm Rocky Balboa. I'm Sylvester Stallone. Adrian. Adrian. Rocky. Slice too long. Does his mouth go to the side? Yeah, like that. Like that. <laughs> I'm Rocky. <laughs> yeah. I'm Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like Rocky if he was deaf. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'll give you a pass on that one. Yes. You got. There's a bit to work on here. There's always room if for it, improvement. Correct. Now, if you want critical feedback here, mate. Nah. You're going to get it. You do the same voice a lot. You don't put accents on. It's just your voice with like maybe a bit of a husk or maybe a, a bit like that. It's the same voice. Try and work on that. Okay. Steven Spielberg, Peter Jackson, James Cameron. You got it. One more. Two more. Two more directors. Oh, Quentin Tarantino. There we go. One more. Who's the guy to the gentleman? Guy Ritchie. There we go. She good. She got knowledge. <laughs> now, should we do some hotline? Yes, please. Guess who hasn't done any prep? Shock horror. Guess who didn't prep at all? So we're going rogue with these bad boys. Okay. Lulu. G'day, cunts. It's Kev the Crocker and Slut here. Um, just got a cheeky red light, green light. So, you know, it's the afternoon. You've been waiting for merch the whole time. Oh. It comes live. Bit delay. That's okay. You buy three hats for you, your brother, in-law, and your missus. You know damn well that the standard delivery will make it. But you'd be a little bit naughty, aren't you, when by express? You got a holiday in three weeks, and you know it's going to be here, but you'll be naughty, naughty. Hey, but naughty, aren't you? <laughs> Buying Express Post. Three weeks, ladies, I'm off in Exmouth. 
Wearing some fucking wean mean will merch. So if there's a couple of bed wearers in Exmouth, we can have a fucking beer in the sun. <laughs> You're naughty, aren't you? That's a green, mate. Um, Thanks for buying three hats, Three brother. hats. Seriously, love that. And yeah, get that expression. We want it for the holiday. Ixy Mouth is where that boy who got my name tattooed on his foot's from. Remember I went to Bali and that boy got my name tattooed on his foot? I completely forgot about that. How wild is that to think about? He just looked down and see Lulu. <laughs> like a few other blacks I know. <laughs> what? Look down, see Lulu. How? Don't, don't worry about it. Move on. That was a very powerful... <laughs> Why is Dior giggling too? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Think about it. No, don't think about it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Mate, that's a green. Aren't you? Aren't you? That's aren't you going to have fun on your holiday, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys will look great. Thank you. And, hey, thanks to all the bedwetters for buying me. It sold out within 40 minutes. Thank you, guys. I can't wait to see everyone wearing their We Mean Well hats. That was fucking wild. So quick. And, I, and, and we are sorry to be – we're getting some messages from people overseas and stuff that missed it and blah, blah, blah. So we do apologise that they were sold out before you could get onto it. But There is some more merch coming and it's not just hats. Correct. And it's going to be... We've got a whole sicko. heap of shit. Yeah. A whole heap of shit coming. So thank you, guys. It's Without you, we're nothing. Love so, you, guys. Fuck me. Righto, let's see this one here. G'day, cunt. How you going? <laughs> I'm just laying in bed right now. Um, just watching Harry Potter again. Just scrolling. Not scrolling. Just watching it. You know when Narcissa, after Narcissa does, after Voldemort does the um, Avada Kedavra that Lily's really good at? Um, yeah. Um, just after Narcissa goes up, you know you've scarred me. Whenever she turns around, I'm going, dead. Harry's dead. <laughs> Not dead. Dead. <laughs> Harry's dead. Harry's dead. Harry's dead. Harry's dead. Harry's dead. Harry's dead. Harry Potter is dead. Did. <laughs> I love that. You have had such an effect on people with I know. Nonna's did, Toby's did, in real life, serious situations. I know. Good chat. I, I liked think, that. Well, it was just understated. Yeah. And nice vibe for us to have a bit of finance and politics, politics chat. Let's just yarn about the Dow Jones. What do you think about it? And that. <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Dior, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I think the Dow is good. The Jones, Jones I'm not is, such a I'm big not fan so of sure of the Jones in it as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. I think Dow's fine. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Agree? Are you stitching me up here? No, I've, we're literally just joking. We don't know what any other it is. What it is. Good. Should we do one more? Yes, please. Um, hey, Bad Wetters. The other day I was listening to um, episode 50 something. I don't know, whichever one had Nerdy Bra, is mm. it? And like, I was like, so gobsmacked by Nerdy Bra. And then I fucking crashed my car listening to it. Sorry, never again. Sorry, Josh. Um, keep kissing. What? What? I need to know more. Well, we can do that. Please. We can do that. That's If she's crashed her vehicle. From listening to Nerdy Bra. That's crazy. That is wild. Are you calling her? Yeah. Hello? Oi. Hello. Who's <laughs> this? Jarch and Lou. Run, run oh. dude, oh run me fucking through. Are hey, you fair to You crashed your car yeah. after Nerdy Bra. Oh, my God, it was so bad. I was, like, listening, and I was, like, gobsmacked. I was, like, this is fucking genius. <laughs> and then and then all of a sudden, I was up someone's ass. <laughs> no. Was yeah. it bad? Oh, no. Nah. It was actually, it's okay, but. It cost me a fair bit. <laughs> Listen, I number one apologise. Number two, and fucking gobs. <laughs> oh my god, your song's causing crashes. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That was like the first thing I thought when it happened. I was like, <coughs> "What 
you've got to be joking me like right now. <laughs> Mate, a hundred percent. I amazing. mean let me just first and foremost formally apologize, but I also on the flip side, find it fucking awesome. Which part did you crash? Was it when I jumped in at the end? Yeah, was it Lulu's bit right at the end or? No, it was like right in the chorus because I was like, I literally had my hand over my mouth. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and, and, I was, <laughs> and, then, and then it just was like, and then it just happened. And then it was just playing in the background as I was like crying. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so Such a sorry. sad song. Yeah, Such a sad song. You're just bawling your eyes out. It's only like I'm titties in the perky, bro. Think around you, long <laughs> circular. <laughs> I'm probably the first person to cry to it. Oh. Well, that's yeah, probably. Hey, we're sorry about the crash car, but we're, we're but here. glad you enjoyed it, Nerdy yeah. Glad we like. You. Glad you like the song. Every hey. cloud. Uh, listen, are. you know, for your troubles though, look, you've crashed your car. Well, um, yeah. We've got to show you some merch, mate. <gasps> a hat? Yeah, we'll send you a hat. 100 percent So I'll just liaise with you on this number. I'll get your address and we'll we'll ship you out a hat or two. Oh. Sorry, yeah. sister. Sorry, senorita. <laughs> Keep pissing. Thank you, senoritas. <laughs> Pleasure, senorita. You're a good driver, aren't you? Aren't except you for when it good. except for when Nerdy Bra's playing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. See you down. <laughs> That's fucking piss up. That's so good. Well. <sighs> it's the end. That's the end, my friend. Time Aim to say goodbye. It's played at my non funeral. Sorry, that actually is sad. And on a high note. Love you guys. <laughs> Keep pissing. <laughs> Keep pissing. Thank you for buying Thank the you merch. For buying the merch. We love you guys. Sorry about your nono. Nono. Not no. He's. You did. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>